Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be cleaning out my closet. This is gonna be more of like a vlog style video. I'm just gonna be like running through my closet and talking about some of the pieces that I'm keeping and getting rid of. And um, it's just gonna be like a really casual style video. You're gonna see some of the pieces that I have in my closet, but I also do have a couple of drawers and a rack of clothes in the living room that I also need to go through. So. I'm not sure if I'm going to show that in this video, but I just don't know if I'll have time because <laughs> I don't want this video to be super long, but I'm just going to briefly go over like why I'm going to keep something or why I'm going to get rid of it because I have too many clothes. As you can see, this little closet back here is the only closet that we have in our apartment and Sean only has like a little portion of the closet and so I need to like clear out a lot of the products so before we get started make sure to subscribe down below come join me here on youtube for more videos like this one i do a lot of organizing and like cleaning video cleaning out my closet or makeup and stuff so i have some of those videos already posted and i try to do this like once every six months i also do like lifestyle vlogs and all that kind of stuff so make sure to subscribe down below and let's get started into this video Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm working with. So this side is like more of like my jackets and dresses and like more like wintry sweater stuff. And then this side of the closet is my like crop tops and maybe some sweaters and cardigans and stuff, but mostly like crop tops. You're gonna notice a lot of the same style of tops, which is why I'm gonna go through and get rid of a ton of them, especially if I haven't worn them in like over a year. We'll be putting everything on my Poshmark, which will be linked below, so make sure to go check that out. We do actually do some sales on there every so often and like bundle deals, so if you want anything out of my closet, it's gonna be linked there. I'm gonna be going through the shoes as well and picking out the stuff I wanna keep and get rid of because I have way too many shoes so all of this over here is Sean stuff <laughs> and I'm not gonna be touching that of course so everything from this way over is mine and then I have some like jeans and stuff and then swimwear up here so uh, jeans I might not touch today but everything on the hangers is fair game to go I also have everything separated by color and type of top which I did in my last video just because I want to keep it organized it's easier for me to like go in and choose an outfit and also like clear stuff out starting off I have this pretty corset top I'm gonna to keep this one I really like this style of top and it's the only corset um, that I own at the moment so I'm gonna keep it it's really pretty I got that one off of Amazon crop top from Princess Polly this is like my most worn crop top so I'm gonna be definitely keeping that one as well this crop top from Meshki I think I'm gonna get rid of this I actually never wear it and it's a little bit it's kind of old. This one is from Glassens. I haven't reached for it in a while. I just don't think that it's very, I don't think it fits me the best. So I'm gonna get rid of it. And it's a little bit see-through, so it's just not gonna work for me. This white crop top is from Pretty Little Thing. It's kind of old and I actually have another one of these basic crop tops. So I'm getting rid of that one as well. I have this nude one from Meshki. So I think I'm gonna hang on to this cause I like the nude color and it's really good quality. Obviously it's from Meshki, so they have really good quality clothing one from zara this is like a nude it's like a longer crop top so i think i'm going to hang on to that one because i don't have that many nude crop tops a corset from princess polly i think i'm going to hang on to this just because it's kind of a cool accessory i also have this tan crop top from cotton on i'm definitely keeping that because i really like the color it's a good neutral white cover-up from princess polly they actually don't sell this one anymore and i really like this as like a beach cover-up i'm actually going to take this with me to grace this summer so i'm going to hang on to that and then these three crop tops i'm keeping these two right here are from cuts woman and they are the best quality basics that i own and so therefore i'm going to keep them i like the two colors and then this one is really cute and i want to style this one i got this one from h&m and it's a cute little graphic tee. Okay, so I actually pulled you guys in a little bit closer so you could see. All right, another top from Cut Swimmin. Actually, I have two of them. One, I'm definitely keeping both of those. I have a ribbed crop top from Princess Polly. I really like that one as a basic, so I'm definitely gonna hang on to that one. And then this gray one, I don't even know where this is from, so I 
I, ne I never wear it, so I'm not gonna keep that one. That one is going. This one from Misguided, I like the cut of this one, but I don't really gravitate towards it because I feel like it's not that supportive of my boobs, so I think I'm going to get rid of this top. This one's from Misguided. I, yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of this one just because I have one from Skims that I actually gravitate towards more. Then I also have a black crop top from Pretty Little Thing. I'm going to also be getting rid of that one because I have the one from Cuts. Then I have this bodysuit from H&M. I literally haven't taken the tags off of it, so that's how I know I just need to get rid of this thing. I have a lot of stuff in there with the tags on still, like it's really bad. Same with this one from Pretty Little Thing. I actually need to try this one on just to see because if it fits me well, then it's like a slinky bodysuit, so I definitely want to hang on to this one for the fall because um, I feel like I'll wear it more often in the fall, but I do need to try this one on before I get rid of it, so... It's a maybe. I'll put it in the maybe pile. I have this ribbed bodysuit. I don't really remember where this is from, so I'm getting rid of it. I literally don't think I've ever worn that in my life. I have a nude one from Misguided, and I really like this color, so I'm going to hang on to that. And then I have this brown top, crop top from Pretty Little Thing, and I will definitely be hanging on to this one. I really like the material of this one. Then I also have this sheer bodysuit from Skims. This is so fun, and I cannot wait to style this in the fall. I think it's going to look so cool so I'm definitely hanging on to that one okay now we're getting into some color so this one is a another one of those slinky crop tops from pretty little thing like the brown one I'm gonna hang on to this one because I really like this blue color another one of the ribbed bodysuits I don't know where this is from so I'm gonna get rid of that it's just not really my vibe um, this burnt orange crop top from boohoo I am also going to pass on that one I just haven't worn it in a while same with this one from princess Polly it's just really bright and not really my vibe anymore so I, I don't think I've worn that in like two years same with this green one while I think it's cute I just never gravitate towards it because it just doesn't fit me that well it's a little bit too I, it just doesn't really fit my boob area so I'm going to pass on that one as well although the color is really cute another basic from Princess Polly I love this color and I'm gonna hang on to that one and then I have this one from um, forever 21 and while I do like this one it is a little bit of a longer cut as well I just don't find myself gravitating towards it because of the ribbed material it's like a really thin rib material so it doesn't really like it accentuates my boobs a little bit more and like it's not that flattering so getting rid of that one I ended up keeping one from that pile okay moving on to this next item it's a bodysuit from skims now I think this is a really cool item and really fun but I just don't think I'm going to end up wearing it. I think it would be really cool for like a winter outfit, but I just don't know if it's really my vibe. So therefore, I'm going to get rid of it. It's just not my thing. Some crop tops from Princess Polly. As you can tell, I love Princess Polly. These are really fun. This one I cannot wait to wear in Cabo. And this one I think I could get um, some wear out of this fall. So I'm going to hang on to these. I just haven't had a chance to wear these outfits yet. So... I'm hanging on to these ones. All right, I have some cardigans. This one is really old from Target. I love the color and it's really soft and nice, but I haven't worn it and I didn't wear it at all last year. I'm sad because it's like that good like throw over cardigan. I just haven't like worn cardigans in a while. Like I haven't really been into that like look lately. Same with this one. It's a crop one from Boohoo. I don't know. I think I might hang on to this one because I liked the cropped like look but i might actually get rid of it in the fall like maybe i'll wear it a couple more times and then get rid of it i just want to hang on to it for the next season i actually have two i ran out of hangers so i stack some clothes in here um i have this crop top from boyd shop boyd and i'm obsessed with this one because it's a halter top and it fits like it supports my boobs really well so i am definitely keeping this and then this is a separate piece right here this is a uh super cropped sweater from pretty little thing and I'm gonna hang on to this one as well because I have a feeling that these are gonna come back in the fall this year so I'm gonna hang on to that all right now I'm getting into more of the fall stuff I have this like basic long sleeve top I'm just gonna get rid of that I really don't gravitate towards that same with this long sleeve brown um, it's like a bodysuit from pretty little thing I do have this long sleeve crop top it's like a slinky material as well from pretty little thing so I think I might hang on to this because it's a good nude 
neutral. This nasty gal top is really cute. It has these little strings on them so you can tie it up kind of around your waist and I really like this top so I think I'm going to hang on to this for now. It's a good top for like going out. Keyhole top from, I wanna say this is from Pretty Little Thing or Boohoo. I have not worn this in a really long time, so I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Same with this one, not my vibe anymore. And then I have this button down like Henley shirt and I'm going to get rid of that. I literally have only worn that once. This sweater vest from Nasty Gal, I actually bought this last year, last season, and I never wore it. But I think what I'm gonna do this year is I'm going to cut it and like super crop it and maybe distress it a little bit because I don't know. I think it would be fun and I never got to wear it. Wear it. I never got to wear it. So I thought I would just like play around with that style of top. And then I also have this cardigan from Boohoo. And I really like this color, but I just don't see myself wearing it this year. I don't know, I'm just trying to get out of like that safe like cardigan look. So I'm not going to keep this. And I also live in San Diego and it doesn't really get that cold here. So a lot of my winter stuff is like, just like useless, you know? I think I'm going to sell this top. This one was really popular last season and it fits really well. It's really cute, but I just don't see myself wearing it this coming year. So I'm going to get rid of that one as well. A crop sweatshirt from Pretty Little Thing. I really like this one, especially um, for like walks and stuff. But when it gets cold out, this is gonna be really good for you know going out and doing our like daily walks. And then I have this sweater from Surrettes and it's really pretty and it was kind of expensive so I'm going to hang on to this. I think it's just a really good basic to have for winter so I'm going to hang on to this. It's really nice quality too. It's like a really thick heavy sweater. Alright, we're moving on to the next side of the closet here. And this is mostly like jackets and blazers. And my blazer collection is getting very large, but you have to have a different color blazer for every event. So I think I'm gonna hang on to mostly all of them. Uh, I have this like really cute cropped blazer that I actually thrifted and I DIY'd it and like cut it shorter. So I've been holding out to wear this for a certain like time in the fall. So I'm gonna hang on to this and then maybe I'll sell it after. This houndstooth one is cute, but I just don't know if it's my vibe. So I think I'm going to get rid of it. It's actually from Nautica, so it's like a really good um, men's blazer. So I think I'm going to sell this on Poshmark. I have this H&M blazer that is a three quarter sleeve and kind of like ruched right here in the sleeve. This one's more of like a businessy one, but I just don't ever wear like fitted blazers anymore. So I am going to get rid of this. I don't foresee myself going into an interview with a blazer like that anyways, or having an interview ever again. Like honestly, I don't want to do that. So yeah, that's me getting rid of that is manifesting never having to do an interview again. So the next few blazers are all thrifted blazers. And I have them in a few different styles. This one's like a pinstripe one that's navy. I have a black one here. Uh, kind of like this like greenish tinge color, olive color. So I'm going to keep these three. This one from H&M is kind of like a neutral tone. But it's, I don't think it's oversized enough for me. Actually, let me try it on. Yeah, I don't think this is like oversized enough for me. I don't know. I think it's cute, but like... It's, I don't know. It's like a basic blazer. It looks kind of fire. Do you like it? I like the color. Do you? But I also have this this one. It's a little tan. It's more tan. This is from Princess Polly. I don't know. Like, I wish it was like one size bigger. I mean, I was going to say, if you don't think you'll wear it, then for sure, I think you should get rid of it it looks very it's very like businessy like, yeah i was gonna say like, it's like very like official it's like official like i'm going to work an interview or like an yeah. interview and this is really cute for an interview so but i think someone else could get use out of it so i'm gonna sell it yeah because you won't be going i don't think i'm gonna wear it i don't my I'm this gonna, is all the shit you're getting rid of yeah yeah like look, look look at this this is a huge pile of stuff I'm getting rid of. Sean's very surprised. I just needed a chance <laughs> to go lie. through my closet. I'm like 
running through it. I'm being really like savage mode about getting rid of this stuff because I just can't like. It just sounds like you're in here saying, I like it. I think every time I hear it, you're huh. saying you're keeping it. So Really? Because so you're, you're like, like, oh shit, what she's keeping. You'll see, I kind of got rid of like half I did hear you say shit about like the cardigans that there's no point because it's never that cold here. Yeah. Okay, no. Sean has now joined us to give me some feedback about my closet. He's very surprised at how much I'm getting rid of. Where did you start from? Did you start from I started that? from this set. If you want to see. I can actually use some of this shit. Like, yeah, I'm going to be able to like push it all to this side. I might be able to keep it on my half. <laughs> okay. A little fan situation. I have a blazer for every situation, okay? Like, these are all thrifted, by the way. I did not spend, like, hella money on these. So... I have, you, this, I have no blazers, by the way. I have this blue <laughs> pinstripe one. Actually, I'm going to try this one on because I can't decide about this one. I don't know. I think I it's bought this. Ugly. Shut up. It is kind of ugly. <laughs> I, I think it's the shoulders. I just don't know if this is the vibe. Yeah, it looks like you got shoulder pads on. Yeah, okay. I'm going to get rid of this blazer. I think I bought it in the moment thinking it was going to look way cooler than it did. This one's from Princess Polly. I really like the tan, but I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I like this one. So I'm going to hang on to this one. I mean, you can find, can't you find a uh, woman's, woman's uh, blazers in the You in can, thrift? but they're like, oh, in the thrift store? I mean, it's like few and far between. This one. I'm definitely keeping. This is one of my favorite ones. Oh, you definitely have to fix that. That uh, jean jacket one. Whenever you take out. The fact that it's facing the opposite way. Oh my god. Damn. Yeah, I'm. You're. Been, I just have. I haven't seen organized it. it yet. I'm literally just getting rid of stuff. <laughs> this one, I love. I'm keeping. And then I have a brown one here. And I have to change out all the hangers too. I want to get all of these hangers so everything lays flat. Then I have this brown one and. I think I'm gonna hang on to this one. What do you think? Why is it so wrinkled? I don't know. I have steamed this one over and over again, and it's so good. Like the back of it is like, it gets and the arm. It gets wrinkly so like fast. Oh, deep. But I like it. What do you think? It's something about the strut. That shit makes your shoulders look like cute, super wide. Yeah, I don't like. Is it those. like not over oversized enough? Nah, it's just that the shoulders. I think the too big. I think the arms are too short. So it makes me look like a box. If the arms were longer. Yeah, this looks like some Kanye West shit. I guess like the Kanye West like video, music video. What, what was this song? Um, I'm a sick fuck. I like the quick fuck. Yeah. Is that the song? No. Yeah, I think so. What the fuck is the name of that? Do I look like Kanye West in this? Okay, so I guess I'm gonna get rid of this one. I I had I I worn it once and I had to like. It's men's, cute. right? Mhm. Mm so I think it just doesn't fit that right. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Well, okay, now on to jackets. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hang on to all of these. To be honest, the the denim jacket is really denim on denim is really in right now, and I want to hang on to this one. And I just really like the fit of that jacket. This one is a cropped denim jacket i honestly my mom got this for me for christmas i don't know where it's from so i'm actually i'm gonna try it on because i like the look of it and i think i might bring this to new york fashion week because i really like like maybe a denim on denim like black denim vibe my mom got it for me i think it's from american threads so i think it's from threads okay and then last but not least in the jackets is this one from misguided it's a leather jacket like an oversized leather jacket oh god and i like this jacket i'm gonna hang on to it it's really good to have a good staple leather jacket in your closet and okay now we're on to like dresses and skirts and stuff so mind you i do have a couple of items that I recently got in that I'm going to be wearing to Greece and then New York Fashion Week and Cabo and all that stuff. That stuff's hanging on a rack out there and I'm not including that in this. I feel like this haul is more or this like closet clean out is more of my basics and I'll just be adding some extra stuff. So you might see some surprises in the Poshmark. But I have this little mini skirt. I'm not gonna keep that. A leather skirt. I think that would be really cute for 
fall. This one from Princess Polly. I think I'm going to get rid of it. It's really fun and kind of cool for the summer, but I have already worn it and uh, I'm just not really into it anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. And then I have this pretty dress from Princess Polly as well. It's like a ruched green dress. I'm gonna hang on to this one because I don't have like a, I just want one like clubbing dress that I can wear. Cause I don't go to the club. But I'm like, this is like that one dress I think for me. We only go to the club when our like, friends. When we go to the club, when our friends come into town or something. Yeah. Cause we aren't like clubbing people, you know? So there's that. And then this dress is from Princess Polly as well. And I wore this for New Year's last year, but this one is such a pretty dress. It's like a good little black dress and it's ruche and you could wear it in the winter. You could wear it, honestly, you can wear it anytime because it's like a mesh material at the top. So it's not too hot. I'm gonna keep that one. I really like that. This dress I'm getting rid of. It's like a baby doll kind of flowy dress and I just haven't worn that in a really long time. And then this one is from Unique and I love the sparkly material, but I just don't think it fit me that well at the end of the day. That shit looks like a little girl's dress. <laughs> These linen pants from Old Navy and they are really comfortable, but they're not high waisted enough for me. So I just don't gravitate towards them anymore, but they're really good for like beach trips. I really like those. Pinstripe pants from Princess Polly. I think that these are a little bit too small for me, so I'm going to get rid of these. Okay, these are the Archer pants from Princess Polly. They're my favorite pants ever, and I'm gonna order them in a bunch of different colors. And then this one is a pair of pants from Pretty Little Thing, I think these are from. Yeah, Pretty Little Thing. I'm going to hang on to these because I like them. Leather pants from Abercrombie. These are so cute, and I'm going to hang on to these because I love how they fit and they're really comfortable. Perfect for fall and winter. I have some like interview, I call these my interview pants, but they're like some slacks and like businessy pants. And I just, you guys, I'm not keeping those. I don't need them. Really cool pair of pants from Princess Polly again. And they have, they're like a ribbed material and they have like this distressed ankle these are kind of cool so i think i'm going to hang on to these green flowy dress i wore this as a wedding guest dress and this is also from princess Polly, and i'm obsessed with this dress but i think i'm going to get rid of it since i've already worn it so if anyone has a wedding that they're that's coming up that they're attending this is a perfect wedding guest dress it's literally stunning so and i love the color so i'm going to Put that away. Maxi skirt from Princess Polly. I got things from Princess Polly. I just realized. I'm freaking obsessed with them. So they just have so much stuff. Um, I'm keeping this. I'm gonna actually take this to Cobbler or Grease and then maybe I'll get rid of it after this summer because it's a really fun summery color. I don't think I would wear this color necessarily in the fall. And maxi skirts are really making their way back right now. They never left. Maxi skirt? I mean, I guess that's true. They never really left, but. Syndra season. Yeah. Gotta see the bunda. Now this one, I'm really sad. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Everyone asks me where this dress is from. It's from uh, Sh Shop Luna B. Just this little mini dress from Windsor. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This dress I bought for Greece years ago. Cause I was like, I wanna, I wanna go to Greece and wear this. I for, totally forgot what's in there, and now I'm going to Greece, and I'm definitely gonna take this. I really hope it fits still, <laughs> but I honestly can't even tell you where this is from. I wanna say I bought this dress in like 2017, maybe 2018. Hmm. I've never seen that before. I know, it, it's been st stuck in my closet for years. All right, I have a couple of just like button ups. So this first one is a green one. And then I also have a black one. I like these as basics. These are also thrifted. So I'm just gonna hang on to those. Same with this linen button up. I literally, I think this is like the most worn item in my closet. It's from Amazon and super cheap. And it's the best linen top ever. They don't even sell it anymore, but you can buy like similar ones on Amazon. It's a men's button up. 
Okay, I thrifted this one for like baseball games and I think I'm gonna hang on to it just in case we go to a baseball game and I wanna like dress baseball-y, you know? Cause it's like black and I could wear, I could get away with wearing this for any team. It's kind of like one of those. I only support the Braves. Real, real Atlanta boy. Here are my flannels. I actually don't even wear this one anymore. This one, They're both from Boohoo. I don't really wear this one anymore. I always gravitate towards this one because it has a little bit of a, like a neutral tone in it. So I, this is like my favorite flannel. So I'm going to keep this one and then this one I'm going to get rid of. Obviously keeping this, it's just a plain like neutral colored jacket. Set from Nasty Gal. This is from the Mae Briley collection and it's a three piece set. I love how you can wear this in a bunch of different ways. So I think I'm gonna hang on to this because I could like wear each piece separate. And then I have this silky dress from Prince of Polly. And I think I'm gonna hang on to that. It's like a shirt dress. And then this Plisse set from, where is this from? Nasty Gal. I think I'm gonna hang on to this for the summer and then I'll get rid of it. But it's a really good set really popular right now gold kind of like champagne silk shirt from misguided i loved this when i first got it but i haven't reached for it in a really long time so or it's from pretty, pretty little thing sorry but i'm going to get rid of this one okay this one is from h&m it's like a button down white like button down shirt dress and it's a little bit too long for me so i think i'm going to end up getting rid of those a neutral shacket from Nasty Gal. I'm going to keep this one. Almost like a robe style. It's kind of like that Skims do. It's giving luxury. I mean, I'll hang on to it. If I don't wear it in the fall winter, then I'll get rid of it then. Okay, so now we're done with the hung up stuff. Um, and I'm going to run through the shoes really quickly and do that. I might just like play some music and do that. But this is all the stuff that I got rid of. Comparison to Sean. The pile's as big as him. <laughs> it's so much stuff. So I'm really excited. Video is getting really long. So I'm going to put some music on and do the shoes. I'm outside in a damn cheap right outside. TT. Two turn baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. All the niggas brown. Okay, I want to show you guys what the closet now looks like. Everything is so spread out now because there's so much more space. I kept it in the same organization that it was in, but I put all of the shirts here, skirts and dresses here, some blazers toward the middle because they're the hardest to get to, and I just, it's easier to just put like the bigger stuff in the middle. And then over here, I have all the crop tops and everything, and I really wanna get these types of hangers because they're a lot skinnier, so it makes all of the clothes, it, you can fit like a lot more clothes and in less space. So I think next time I'm going to um, invest in some of these like nicer, thinner hangers because these ones are just the cheapy ones and they take up a lot of space, but all the crop tops here and everything, and then the shoes I'm really proud of. These are all the shoes that I'm getting rid of. These are all the clothes, again, that I'm getting rid of, a huge pile of them. And then I organized the shoes by heels, colorful heels, slides, and then black heels, furry kind of slides, <laughs> my tennis shoes, boots, uh, ankle boots, my Converse, and then I have my Steve Madden heels back there. And then I have some like ankle boots here, but there's room for another pair of shoes or two up front. And then I can also stick some stuff back here if I need to, but I don't really need to. I like how organized it looks. It looks so much better. And then I ended up sticking, I have this full of like sweatpants and everything. I ended up sticking my Jordans up here just because it got them out of the way and it looks a lot more organized and 
like just cleaner all together. So that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe down below. Go check out my other closet clean out videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.